Good morning. My name is Brooke, and this morning I'm going to bring to you a yoga class. This is called Story and Stretch Yoga, and it's a class developed by my friend Michelle Gribble Dates. And this is a way that we can use our minds, our bodies, and our souls to experience scripture. Today's lesson comes from the book of Mark, and in it, we're going to experience Jesus' triumphant in entry into Jerusalem. So find a spot in your house. You don't have to have a yoga mat. A towel works fine, or just your carpeted surface. And let's join in. What we're going to do first is we're going to warm up our breath. So we're going to start by doing alternate nostril breathing. So you're going to take your favorite hand, whichever hand that is, and you're going to put down these first two fingers after your thumb. And you're going to bring it up to your nose, and you're going to use the thumb to close one of your nostrils. And you're going to breathe in through the open nostril and out. And then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna close the other nostril, open up the one with your thumb, and you're gonna breathe in and out. Switch back your thumb in and out. Switch to your ring finger in and out. One more time, back to your thumb in and out, ring finger in, and out. All right, now we're gonna get our bodies in on this breathing warm up. We're gonna stand up, and in our story today, we learn that Jesus chooses a donkey to make his entry into Jerusalem. So today we're gonna feel, we're gonna make our arms like an elephant's trunk. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down low, let your trunk hang down low. And how do elephants suck up water? They do it through their trunks, right? So we're going to imagine there's a big pool of water in front of us. And we're going to take our trunks and we're going to inhale in and suck up all that water. And then what do we do when we want to let the water out? We're going to blow it out through our trunks. So big breath out, exhale. And let your trunk hang low. Here we go again, inhale in. And exhale. One more. Inhale in. And exhale. All right. Now that we've got our breath warmed up, we're going to warm up our bodies. In yoga, most people are familiar with the sun salutation, S-U-N. But today, we are going to warm up our bodies with a sun, S-O-N, salutation. We're going to give our greetings to Jesus. So I'm going to lead you through. I'm going to show you the pose and repeat the line in the poem. And then I'm going to pause and let you repeat it at home. So you're going to come to the top of your mat. And we're going to start in mountain pose. And we're going to bring our hands to our heart center. We're going to take a deep breath in. The sun, the sun. I salute the Son, the Son of God, lives in everyone. Christ has risen, Christ has blessed the whole world in his heart rest. With Christ I rise, ready to live, happy to be, and ready to give. The sun, the sun, I salute the sun. Christ opens his arms to everyone. Did you get that? We're going to try it one more time. 
keep our feet, I forgot to tell you that our feet, we want them rooted into the ground. So you can even kind of take some dirt, put them over your feet so that we feel rooted into the ground. And when we lift up our arms, we're reaching up like branches growing to greet God in this morning. So here we go. We're going to try it again. Uh, repeat after me the lines in the poem. The sun, the sun. I salute the sun. The son of God lives in everyone. Christ has risen. Christ has blessed the whole world in his heart rests. With Christ I rise, ready to live, happy to be, and ready to give. The sun, the sun, I salute the sun. Christ opens his arms to everyone. So our breath is warmed up, our bodies are warmed up, and now we need to open our spirits to what it is that God is trying to say to us today. So we're going to do a form of Christian meditation. And the words that we are going to use for our meditation are ma ra na fa. And it's an Arabic word. And that's the language that was used in the time that Jesus was here. And it translates into come Lord Jesus. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale in the first two syllables and exhale on the last two. So you're gonna inhale in ma ra and exhale na fa. Ma ra, na fa. And during this time, I want you only to think of those words. You feel the breath in your lungs and you repeat those words over and over. If your mind begins to go somewhere else, just bring it back to those words. So what I want you to do now is close your eyes gently and come into your happy posture. Feel the lower part of your body rooting into the ground. You can even put that dirt over your legs, like I said, rooting into the ground. And you feel the invisible string helping keep the upper part of your body holding up. With your hands, you can either have them here on your legs or in your lap, wherever's comfortable to you. Notice your breath in and out. When you hear the first bell, you're going to begin to repeat in your minds silently the mantra, Ma Ra Na Fa. And you're going to keep repeating that and breathing until you hear three bells at the end. Are you ready? Come, Lord Jesus. And now we are ready to listen to what God has to say to us today. So if you're happy in this posture that you're sitting in now, stay there. 
If you can listen better or you're more comfortable laying down on your mat, you're welcome to do that. I'm now going to share with you God's words as retold in a story by C.J. Davis. In Jerusalem, on the east side, there is a large stone gate that leads into the walls of the city. It was told for many years that the true king of Jerusalem would enter the city through these gates and they would free the Jews for all times. So when it came time for Jesus to enter into Jerusalem, he had heard this story. He knew what it meant to be a leader, but he wanted to show the people the kind of leader he was. He was a servant leader. He was not like the other kings with armies. His followers freed people through love. So Jesus knew that he would go through the stone gate. He sent two disciples ahead of him into the city, and he told them, when you enter, you will find a donkey tied there. Bring the donkey to me. And if anyone asks you why you are untying it, tell them that the Lord needs it. The disciples entered Jerusalem, and sure enough, there was a donkey there. They untied it and began to bring it to Jesus. But someone stopped them and asked, Where are you going with that donkey? They said, The Lord needs it. The disciples brought the donkey to Jesus outside the city. Jesus got on the donkey and rode it through the city gates into Jerusalem. The people saw what was happening. Jesus was entering through the gates just as the stories had said that a king would. But he didn't have an army and he wasn't on a big powerful horse. He was on a donkey. The people thought to themselves, could it be that this is the king who will save us? The crowds begin to wave at him and shout, Hosanna, which means save us. They laid their coats and waved palm fronds to welcome him into the city. The people shouted as he passed, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus continued riding the donkey all the way into the center of city, the center of the city, to the temple with his disciples. I wonder how Jesus decided to enter into the city the way that he did. If you're laying down, come back and join us up in a seated position. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna recreate the story that we just heard using yoga poses. So my first question to you is what is on the east side of the city of Jerusalem that leads into the city walls? Do you remember? It was a stone gate. So we're gonna do a gate pose. We're gonna come up on our one side, whichever side you choose. You're gonna keep this leg down and up, and you're gonna look up to the sky. You're gonna breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. And we're gonna make the other side of the gate now. So you're gonna switch sides, whatever side you were on. And we're gonna do the same pose over here. In through your nose and out your mouth. The next question is who knew the story about how the king would enter through the gates, but decided that they would do things a little differently to show people that they were a different kind of king? Who was this? It was Jesus. So we're going to do our peaceful warrior pose. We're going to come up to a standing position. You're going to take one foot and bring it to the front of your mat. And then the second foot is gonna be facing this way. Front foot this way, other foot this way. And we're gonna reach up and back. Breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. And then we're gonna switch. So this foot's gonna turn this way, this foot's gonna turn this way, and out. Breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. Who 
did Jesus send ahead of him into the city to find the donkey? Who was it? The disciples. So we're going to do a walking low lunge to signify the disciples walking into the city. So we're going to put one foot forward, one foot back, and a lunge. Breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. And then we're going to switch legs. In through your nose, and out your mouth. Very good. What did Jesus instruct the disciples to say if anyone asked why they were untying the donkey? They were to tell them that the Lord needs it. So we're going to do our warrior one pose, the same thing that we did for the peaceful warrior, but we're going to change our arms a little bit. So the back foot's going to go like this, the front foot's going to point out, and we're just going to lift our arms up to the heavens. Breathe in through your nose, and out your mouth. And we're just going to switch it around, in through your nose, and out your mouth. Great job. Now, how did Jesus enter through the gates? What was he riding? A donkey. So we're going to do our downward dog pose, but we're going to add in some donkey kicks. So we're going to come up to standing position. We're going to bring our hands down. Walk your hands to the front of your mat. We're going to go in downward dog position. Now make sure there's nobody close behind you because we're going to do donkey kicks. So we're going to bring our leg up to touch our glute. If you want to get a little bit crazier, you could even do a little kick like that. Maybe our donkey's feeling a little bit energetic today. Very good. Did it make sense to the people that Jesus entered the city on a donkey, or were they confused? I think I probably would have been a little confused. So we're gonna do our eagle pose. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna twist our arms in front of us, and we're gonna twist our legs in front of us. We're gonna take a deep breath in through our nose and out our mouth. And then we're going to switch our arms and switch our legs. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then, how did the people respond to Jesus walking through the streets? Do you remember what it was that they said? Hosanna, right? So we're going to praise God. We're going to come down on our knees right here. We're going to do a seated mountain pose. So we're going to lift our hands up to the heavens. And then we're going to bow down to child's pose to worship God. And then we're going to bring our hands back up. And up. And finally, where did Jesus ride the donkey to? Where did Jesus and his disciples go? The temple. So we're going to do triangle pose. So we're going to take this foot here, straight this way, this foot here, this way, and we're going to drop this hand down here. And look up if you can. And then let's rotate it, this foot this way. This foot this way, and down. Great job, guys. What we're going to do now is a little bit of relaxation to help us take all this wonderful stuff that God has been teaching us and help it stick in our hearts. So I want you to lay down on your mat, find a comfortable spot, where you can lay full out with your hands at your side and your feet down. And 
and I'm gonna lead you in some relaxation. So I'm gonna come over here so you're not distracted by me. I want you to slowly breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. I want you to take your hands and squeeze them as hard as you can and release. If you can take and make a big muscle with your arms, can you take your arms all the way up, make a big muscle, squeeze, 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 and release. Now what I want you to do is squeeze those hands again, squeeze those biceps. You can even raise your shoulders up to your head. Squeeze it, make it as tight as you can, and release. Your face muscles. Can you scrunch up your face muscles? Every single muscle in your face. And release. How about your stomach? Can you make your stomach really tight? And release. The top part of your leg, is there a way that you can flex that? Hold it really, really tight. And release. How about your feet? Can you pull your feet up? Make that calf muscle flex and release. Can you make your whole entire leg from the top of your leg to the tips of your toes? Can you make it really strong and release? Now what I want you to do, every single muscle in your body, can you take from your head to your tips of your toes to the tips of your fingertips to your tummy Hold it real tight for three seconds. Three, two, one. And release. Feel your body almost melting into the ground. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, feel your body sinking into the floor. With every inhale and exhale, your body just feels lighter and lighter. And I want you to imagine that there's some sun in the sky. It's not a hot sun. It just makes your body feel warm. And I want you to feel that sun right now on your fingertips. You feel the sun, it's just a warm feeling. And it spreads up your arms and now you feel it on the soles of your feet that warm comfortable feeling travels up your legs and fills your whole belly and now you feel that sun rest in your heart Take a deep breath in through your nose and out your mouth. I'm going to repeat some affirmations to you. And I want you to say them silently in your heart after I do. I can think differently than other people. I can act differently than other people. I can be a leader like Jesus. Breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. In our story from the Gospel of Mark, we heard of Jesus acting very differently than the other leaders of his time. And we learned that he did this for a special reason. He wanted people to know that he was a different kind of leader than they were used to. The people who followed him didn't harm people like the armies of other leaders. Instead, they freed people through love. I wonder when you had an idea to do something differently. In your mind, picture a time that you came up with an idea to do things differently. Maybe it was a way to solve a math problem or a different way to paint a picture or maybe a different way to play a game. 
See yourself smiling as you act differently. As we relax for a moment in silence and stillness, feel that smile on your face spread across your entire body and know that it was important for Jesus to think and act differently when he walked the earth. And it's important for you today to think and act differently. Breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. I want you to bring the awareness back to your body. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your hands. Slowly come up. You can rock your body from side to side. And come up and join me in a seated position. I thank you for joining me today. Let us end in a prayer. Dear God, we thank you for being in our minds and our bodies and our souls today. God, remind us that you act differently because you are the king that we need. Help us to remember that you made us all special and unique. Help us to celebrate what makes us different. In your name we pray. Amen. Namaste. And that literally means God's light in me sees God's light in you. Go today. Go and be and act the way that Jesus would want you to be. Have a great day, guys.